Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a continuation on the series that I'm doing on writing a novel from idea to a published book. Today's video is a little bit different because what I am talking about today is some of the things that I didn't touch on based on my experience. So like I mentioned in the last video, the novel that I'm writing right now is the fifth novel that I'm writing. So even though I was sharing my process with you, like from idea and then my next step and my next step and the step after that, some things just came naturally to me after writing my fifth novel. I kind of already know certain things, which is exactly what I'm going to share with you today. In case this is the first time you've written a book or you're considering writing a book, I want you to keep these things in mind as you are circling around with your different ideas. So I am going to be working off my book companion journal because I have all that information on the journal in case you don't have it. And I also made some other notes on my phone. So if you see me looking down, that is exactly what I'm doing. So let's jump right into the video on what are the things you need to consider when you have an idea for writing a book and you've decided you're serious about it and you're going to sit down and actually write. The first thing you need to know is if you're writing a fiction or nonfiction, which I'm sure that is just a given. You know if you are writing a fiction book or nonfiction. That's pretty simple. But the next thing you need to consider is am I, what kind of book am I writing? In other words, the sub genre. Are you writing a mystery, a crime, a chick flick, um, rom com, a mystery, a historical fiction? I don't know if I said mystery already. Either way, you know what I mean. So you need to identify the sub genre as well so that you know which direction your story is going to go in. The next thing you need to consider is your audience. And what I mean by audience is, are you writing a children's book, a middle grade, a YA, a young adult, or an adult book? You need to know your audience because you need to know what kind of content you're going to be able to include in your novel. Whatever you put in middle grade, you cannot put in children's book usually, or if you put something in YA, it's not gonna be the same thing that you put in middle. And the same thing, if you're writing an adult book, you might change a little bit of the content if it's middle grade or YA. Well, if it's middle grade, it's probably gonna be completely different, but for YA, it has to, it, you know, it's going to be slightly different depending on the kind of book that you're writing. The next thing you need to consider is your POV. From which perspective will you be writing the book? Are you, or how many perspectives are you writing the book? Like in my case, I am writing my book from two perspectives, dual perspectives, the male and the female character. Not only that, but I'm also writing from a first person point of view. So that's another thing you need to consider. Which point of view are you writing from? First or Third, I tend to write in first because that's what I'm comfortable with, but I do intend on someday writing in third. Especially, I have a fantasy novel that I've been playing with for years that I think I might need to write in third person, but I am not sure. We'll look into that, but that's a different video altogether. So start thinking about from which point of view you want your story to be told. I've done, I've made the mistake of writing my stories in the third person and then realize it doesn't work and I needed to, I changed everything back to the first person. So that's a nightmare. It's very important that you figure that out right at the start of your novel. The next thing you need to consider is the word count. Depending upon which subgenre you are writing, you have to write a certain amount of words. Now, you also need to consider if you're going to self-publish or traditionally publish. So, if you are traditionally getting published, if you're going to go that route, then you definitely have to meet a certain amount of words depending on the subgenre that you're writing. So, if you are writing, I think, a young adult, I think you can write from 50 to 70,000 words. Don't quote me. I don't know anything about young adults, so I don't know how many words you should write. Maybe 50 to 90 is normal, but if you go above that, then they're going to cut you off. And I think it goes the same thing with like if you're writing like a romance novel, 50 to 70 is the right amount. And if you're traditionally published, then you might want to stick with those numbers. If you are self-published, you don't have to quite stick to those numbers. However, you want to make sure that your readers are happy. So if you, your readers are used to reading traditionally published books and, and their novels are normally 50,000 words and however many pages that is, two to 300 pages, 
if you give them a 150 page book, they're going to be very disappointed. So I would definitely try to stay within the traditionally published realm word count, even if you are self publishing, just because you don't want to disappoint your readers and you want to stay within, you know, the standard genre recommendation. The next thing we're going to talk about is the tone of your book. You need to know what the tone is going to be. So if you are going to write a rom-com, then you know you're going to have some comedy aspects in your book. So you're going to write in that tone. Now, if you don't have a funny bone in your body and you don't know how to write comedy, that might be a problem. But if you can throw in some comedy in there, then the tone will reflect itself as the reader is reading without you having to tell them it's you know this it's got comedy in it if you are writing a thriller then you need to make sure you know how to write in that tone the characters the setting everything that you put in there has to have a certain tone to match the subgenre that you're writing next thing you might want to consider before you actually start writing is maybe the overall theme of your novel now this is different than the theme i'm talking about in save the cat when each character is going to have a theme this is just the overall theme of your novel it might be a good idea for you to know that or at least start thinking about it by the time you start writing it and finally the last thing i think you need to consider when you have an idea for writing a book is if you are writing a character driven story or if you're writing a plot driven stories all my stories are character driven and with a plot driven story for example like harry potter the characters do have their arcs and their moments of change also but it is driven by the actual plot versus the stories that i write they're all character driven so although there are things happening within the story it's it's the characters growth and their arcs and their moments that are actually driving the story so consider that when you have an idea for writing your next book all right you guys that is it for today's video i hope you found some value i hope that you are enjoying the series and if you are make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos also make sure that you hit the notification bell because i am uploading videos at different times throughout the week so i don't want you to miss out on any of them that is it i will see you again in a brand new video tomorrow until then stay safe